Ok, so this video is a quick tutorial on RedisQL. RedisQL is a project I'm following and it gives uh, Redis SQL capabilities. So if you want to, to try RedisQL, we just set up uh, a demo machine so that everybody can try without you actually install it. If you want to install your machine, it's still quite simple. You just go on GitHub or PyHeap you download the binaries and then you run it like redisql dash dash like redis server the dash load module and then redisql dot so so this we this we need to be the file that you actually download but if you don't want just to test it you can just use our demo which is an open machine on the internet and we clean up it uh, every hour you can just use it to make all the mess you want. And in order to use it, you can just connect it to it. Should be good. So this is a standard Redis instance. So we get all this standard Redis command. A is all that. It's just a standard Redis command. And the first things in this tutorial is to create a new Redis Cure database. How do you do it? Redis dot create the B, the name of the database. And just do it. So create the B database tutorial, why not? Okay, this will return okay. This means the database is being created. Along with creating a database, a SQLite database associated this database with the key of tutorial, the SQL also spawn a new thread that will be the thread that is responsible for taking care of all the queries that goes to tutorial database. So if you spawn, if you create two databases, you have two threads, three databases, three threads, and so on and so forth. So the first thing we can try is a simple select. We execute select, and we execute dot dot exec. And the database tutorial, what? This query here, select one, we should return just one. So everything seems to work. Now, since this is SQL, let's try to create a table. So we exec, so execute, and get the database tutorial. What? This query here, create table, first table with an integer, and B as a string. Very simple. Let's try. Done. Okay, this means that the table is being created. And yeah. it means the table is being created, it can be used now. The next step would be to actually insert some values into the table. The simplest thing would be to just use execute what against the database tutorial, the, this query over here. In this case, just insert into first table, the table we just create, two row, two row, one in the first row, and two the second row. Very simple. Control C, Control V. So insert into the table we just create, insert this table, what one and two very well done so everything was done correctly and two so two rows were actually inserted into the database after we insert values we can read them back so you believe you pretty much understand where we're going so exec tutorial uh, what query select all from first table very well Let's select all from first table, return what we just insert, so one and the first row and two in the second row. Instead of using exec, it can be handy to use the query. Query is just like exec, but it works only for read only statement. So if you try to do query insert, it will not work, but query select it will just work as fine. Why we need that? Maybe you have queries that you are not really sure what want to happen and you just want to make sure that the query are running in just a uh, uh, select one that does not modify the database. This is the right things to this is the right common such case. So query select all from first table where a equal one is return with respect to the first row. Another interesting feature are the statement. What's a statement? Statement is uh, a precompiled query. Uh, you can do a pre-compile query to select or like this one. So we create a statement 
filter on A, where we do select all from fifth table where A equal the parameter we, we sent. Or you can create a query for uh, insert and stuff. So create statement uh, new row, and in this case we just insert into the first table uh, the value we pass a parameter and it is our query string. Of course you can pass multiple parameters, so you can do a dollar uh, question mark two, and then you will need to pass two parameters. Let's set to follow this tutorial and create the first statement and also the second one. So now we have two statement, filter on A and new row inside the database. This can be invoked with a text statement for stuff that actually insert values. So let's try to insert five, done, and then one, so we insert a new row. Or they can be invoked with a query statement, query statement, with a read only statement. So let's try to read back what we just insert. Like that. So we, we got a single row, one row, which integral five and insert from statement. The very last thing I want to show is push into stream. So it may happen that you don't want to, if your database is big, your query is produce a lot of results, you don't want, you may don't want everything from Redis immediately. The solution in such case is to push the result into a stream, and then eventually at later time you can either get a little bit of a little piece of the stream at a time, or everything together, or you can send the stream to a different consumer, or you can use it as a cache. So after you push stuff on the stream, they stay there until you don't delete the stream. In this case, what we do is query, query into query. Why query? Because we cannot actually do it in a tech. We just get in stuff from the database and push into the SQL. Into, into what? Into the stream. In this case, this, a new stream that's called a tutorial stream. From what database? From the tutorial database, which query? Select all from first table. This can be done, done also with statement and that we respect. So this copy, we paste here, and get three numbers. We get the name of the stream where we push, uh, the first ID or the, the first ID of the row that we push in the stream, the last ID and how many IDs, how many row we actually push into the stream. This is useful because well, the name is just useful, and but you could uh, keep pushing stuff inside the same stream, so you want to know uh, where your query starts, where it's finished, or where your query starts, and how many items you got. Finally, to look back to this element, what you can do is just to use the standard uh, Redis command, in this case, this range. So a stream minus graph, so give me everything. I get the first one, which was A and the first row. Int is going to mean that the next element is an integer. A is the name of the column. Text, the next element is text. B is the name of the column. And so we get three or two. So the zero, one, and two. So we get one, two, and five. The five was the one that we added with, that we added with the statement. So I believe this is pretty much what I got for you. It's interesting to see the keys. So we create the key A that was just uh, the very beginning, at the very beginning we do a bit test. And then we have the tutorial, which is, uh, which is the, the database, and the tutorial stream, which is this stream over here where we are reading from. Uh, if you have any question, you can contact me at the address cloud.com uh, or on uh, GitHub here. Over here on GitHub. Thanks for watching.